This is a resume I got not too long ago. I changed all the wording to Latin and I removed the recognizable company names, but the format is just about identical to what I received. And in case you're wondering, yes, I was tempted to just toss this in the trash. Whenever you have fonts that are so small and everything is cramped together, it makes it darn hard to read it, especially when you go through and read a lot of resumes in a day. The sad part is that this resume wasn't that bad content-wise. So if your resume looks anything like this, fix it, please. So let me show you a couple of real quick fixes. Uh, first thing we're going to do is select everything and increase the font to 12 point. I think this was set at 10. So we're going to select, go up here, 12 point, there. Now we're going to hit the title section. So the, the we're going to hit the name, and increase it to 14. We're going to hit the work history section. Do the same there. This is just for aesthetics and the education. They look a little better and offset when they're there at bigger size. Now we're going to take the company descriptions. You see they're in italic and I, I like to keep those a little bit lower. So let's keep those at 10. And I know everything looks cramped right now, but we're going to fix that. Now the next thing that we're going to do is try to make this look better from the cramps angle. So let's go to line spacing and see what they've got. We'll hit select all, go up to line spacing, make sure it's at single point. There, already it looks a whole lot better, but it's still not there. What we want to do now is to make, get rid of all of this big block of text and separate that. They've got their accomplishments and responsibilities all jumbled up in a text block. Let's make that a bullet list. So we're going to just select every one of the accomplishments. And Word makes it pretty easy. You just hit the bullet list. There you've got it. We'll do the same thing down here. A couple of these had more than one sentence in the accomplishment, so we couldn't just hit it. And we'll select those. It's looking better. Now, we want to fix the rest of the white space. And this is a, a part that a lot of people don't know about, but it's actually very simple. So we're going to start up at work history, select it all, and we'll go back up to the line spacing option and go down to options. And when we hit options, we're then going to go to the spacing before and after. I like to do it after. So let's just start it off with Word gives you a few options. You can actually put in anything you want. You can put in two, three, four. I like to actually try it with six. Let's try that and see what it looks like. Now you see how they it's made a space between each of the lines. You can then go back in and do any kind of manipulating you want. So if you think six is too much, which I happen to do, Go back in and take a section, any section you want. Go to line spacing, and instead of six, why don't you try two? And you see, there's still a nice space between them, and it makes it readable, but it's not too big. So let's do that with everything except the accomplishments. So we'll make these two. Say OK. And we'll go down here. And we'll just put all of this at 2. Say OK. Now when you take a look at that resume, it's a whole lot nicer than what we had before. I also would right align these dates, but you can see that on another video I made.